Alexander Ward. I'm a medical doctor and I'm the founder of uh, FirstDrive. Uh, I'm also a researcher and written four scientific papers on this kind of technology. And uh, this is something typical. You wake up in the morning, you have something like this on your face. Uh, what is it? Is it a wart? Is it uh, a bump? So you'll do an internet search and you end up with three million results and you get worried and what are you going to do next? Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's difficult to just do an internet search to know what it could be. So you probably end up at the family doctor's office. Family doctor is not an expert with skin diseases. The best thing to do is to go and see a dermatologist. However, average time to see one is 29 days in America. Uh, so this is where we come in. We created an app. It's on iOS, Android, and web. It's HIPAA compliant, uh, scientifically researched and secure. Uh, download it for free. It's anonymous. Uh, you take two images of your skin, uh, one uh, close-up and one overview. You fill in information, and then you decide how quickly you'd like to have the answer. Uh, so if you want to wait two days, you can pay twenty-five dollars. If you want to have uh, the answer within eight hours, you pay $100. And then our board certified dermatologists look at this image and then they'll send back the response of what it can be and how you can treat it. 70% uh, of our users, they don't actually have to go to the doctor's office. You can go to the pharmacy and buy over the counter medication, which saves you time and uh, money. Uh, people that use this is young families, 45% on rashes, uh, moles, skin cancer, 25%, and then since the service is anonymous, uh, people send in a lot of under-the-belt uh, internet uh, issues to us. <laughs> uh, we're live, we, we're doing quite well, so we're like already now we're a global company. Uh, the service is in six languages. Uh, you can also see what people send in to us, so it's uh, between 20 to 30 years old, and that's the most people. But interestingly enough, if you see over 35 and also they are the ones that send in uh, on their kids. A uh, huge market, 20% uh, of all family doctor visits are skin related, and that's about 170 visits reported every year, and this number is probably much larger if all skin diseases actually went in. Uh, $38 billion is spent on dermatology procedures, and $8 billion is spent on uh, creams and so forth. Uh, so we have over 100, uh, 190,000 downloads. We get 3,000 cases submitted uh, per month. Uh, we're in the five-digit number of recurring revenues. It's in six languages. Uh, we also discovered more than 500 dangerous lesions. Uh, we are also building up a database uh, that we can use for machine learning in the future. So uh, this actually was a real case. This was a 68-year-old woman from uh, Florida. Uh, she had something growing on her face and uh, she tried some creams and it didn't go away. So she tried our service and our dermatologist said that they could not rule out that this was skin cancer. Uh, so she used our answer to get an appointment with uh, a local dermatologist. And she, instead of waiting 29 days, she had the appointment within two days. And it was confirmed that it was basal cell carcinoma and was removed on the same visit. So, our service is very easy to use, it's anonymous, it's uh, usable in any connected device, and it also does save lives. So next time you have some kind of skin issue, a bump, just go to our website or download our app first time. Thank you. Questions? I was just wondering whether, you know, you, you have Consider that, uh, like for example, here in the US, approach maybe insurance companies, they might offer a discount for people or maybe even pay part of it? Uh, that's a very good, uh, very good point. We are obviously talking to everyone that we see that there is a, a possibility. The problem with skin dermatology is that it's only 3% of an insurance company's costs. The major costs are in diabetes and also heart disease, and together that's 60%. So when, you, when they see that I can save 3%, they're like, okay, uh, come back if you have a diabetes app. Right. Can you legally write prescriptions from the app as well? 
So if we write prescriptions, then we, uh, our users are not anonymous. Uh, so what we discovered is like keeping the uh, service anonymous, where you don't have to sign up or email or anything like that, the conversion rate is much better. That's why we're not doing prescriptions. And also, doing prescriptions, there's a red flag. I mean, that's why there is prescription, because of the side effects. So we don't want to have uh, be in that situation. Other questions? Hi, could you share a little bit about your network of dermatologists and you know, how many assessments are conducted per case study? Sure. So our dermatologists, we have 20 dermatologists uh, on board. We have Americans, we have uh, UK, Canada, Australia, Sweden, Spain, uh, and Italy. And they're all board certified. They have to do a test before they can start working with us. And uh, we also give them feedback on how they answer. We also audit all our dermatologists, all the answers that comes in, about 20% 20, 20 every month. And uh, also give feedback on that. If you, for example, use our service and you're not happy, you can reach out through our support channel. And we're very fast at answering to our customers. And um, we usually give you a second opinion. How does liability with the app work? And is there any data about rates of mistreatments compared to in-person visits? So it's 95% uh, accurate. Uh, in the cases they don't know what it is, uh, or uh, for example in that case, where they could not rule out it was skin cancer, they thought it was skin cancer, then uh, I recommend to go to the doctor's office. All our doctors are insured, and uh, we have not had an issue with uh, with uh, having answered over 120, uh, well, uh, 20,000 cases. Yeah. Last question. Thank you very much. Thank you.